you been feeling sorry for yourself since Detroit kicked you off the team? Come on, Milt. Your whole life just gonna freeze? Can't get over the fact that it would embarrass me in the majors. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Even when I'm doing bad, I'm doing good. Have a magnificent day. Scenes from the new motion picture, Where Hope Grows. Welcome back to Newsmax Prime. This film will be released this weekend, but in previews, it has already captured the hearts and minds of audiences across our country. The film follows a retired professional baseball player whose life is headed in a downward spiral until he's awakened by an unlikely person, a young man with Down syndrome who works at the local grocery store. But their friendship is put to the test. I'll say no more. You'll want to see this motion picture, Where Hope Grows. And we welcome in these two actors, David DeSanctis and Christopher Paloha. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us from Newsmax New York. David, let me ask you You're first. Welcome. Thanks, what, JD. What, what appeals to you about acting? To look onto our abilities, into our disabilities, and, and also to, uh, for me to uh, shatter the stereotypes, which I've already did, of the thing of Twitter Joe's and now this major role in this movie of Real Hope Grows, but also to pledge to sign the use end of the R word as well, too. Christopher, let me ask you, when you found out you were going to, uh, to be in this motion picture, uh, with David, did did you have some trepidation about working with uh, with David? Absolutely not. No, I mean I was excited to be able to help shatter stereotypes. For one, the second thing that we did as a cast was we all signed a pledge to eliminate the R word because the R word, you know, it's it's a word that's bandied about so frequently with little regard to what it really means and to who's listening and to what effect it has on people. And frankly, it's a hate word. And in the movie, there's a line, you know, we don't say the N word like we don't say the R word. And it's a really profound uh, moment in the film, but it's poignant and it's poignant for a good reason because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a word that should be eradicated from a common uh, vernacular. So to be a part of a film and to be an actor working with David, that had a chance to eliminate the art, that was awesome. And then it's also amazing to see David DeSanctis, who is a young man who has Down syndrome, um, take a leading role in a film that's not just a token character about somebody who's Down syndrome. He's just, his storyline is that he's, it, what is, as importantly as the fact that he has Down syndrome, he's also a Christian. He, uh, his character basically brings my character out of this very dark place and, and gives him a shot at a, a redemption, really, and a second chance through this unexpected friendship. And uh, what you focus on are David's abilities uh, versus his disabilities. And so to be a part of that was incredible. Well, we look forward to seeing it as it opens this weekend, Where Hope Grows. David DeSantis and Christopher Paloha, we appreciate the fact that you emphasize ability rather than disability and that you bring home a message that uh, there's more to this life than just the here and now. We need to have solid faith. And again, our thanks as you join us from Newsmax, New York. Thank you, JD, for having us. You're welcome. And before you and I part company, it's time to hear what's on your mind. A couple of comments we received via social media. First from Jeff, who writes in about that Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal offering his notion of a solution. He says, if America cuts off all trade tomorrow with half the countries of the world, we here would still need stuff, buy stuff, and suddenly find more jobs that we could all fill. Guess what would happen then, J.D.? Wages would go up for everyone here in the good old USA. Well, Jeff, I hope some of my old colleagues are listening. One thing's for sure, we have a huge trade deficit now with China, and a whole lot of manufacturing jobs have left. Gary D. reacts to our segment on the Vatican, recognizing the Palestinians last night. He writes in, Ray Flynn was great, but your retort on the Arab countries not recognizing Israel was better. Gary, we thank you for your email. We'd love to hear from you, too. You can email me. Also reach out via Facebook and Twitter. That'll do it for tonight. Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.